the trueness of this beautiful religion, Islam. Whereas Hussein, the son of Ali, stood, stood up to keep the true values of Islam alive, the true values that were set by his grandfather, Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him and his family. Imam Hussein was a victim of these same terrorists that we see today. Our communities, we have held on to the values, the universal values of Imam Hussein Islam, in our mosques, to ourselves, within our communities. But today, once again, we're given the opportunity to come back and spread his values far and wide. The message of Hussein Islam on the 10th of Muharram is an example for the whole world. Standing up against the tyrants of his time, against injustice, against oppression, showing honor, showing dignity, showing forbearance and courage. Surely, these are the values and principles that we should live by in 2022 and beyond. Today, dear brothers and sisters, we stand here united, showing the world that we are against injustice, when we are against oppression, when we are against the tyrants of our time. We stand up for the rights of humanity, the rights of all of God's creation. We unite, asking the human race to be more humane, to take care of our dying planet, to spread, to spread the honour, the dignity, the love between one another. We share the universal values given to us by Imam Hussein, peace and blessings be upon him, the values that have inspired some of the greatest leaders of the 20th century. The stance against apartheid held by Nelson Mandela, the all-inspired vision and the dream of Martin Luther King, the revolutionary leader Mahatma Gandhi, who said he learned how to achieve victory whilst being oppressed through the saying of the son of Ali. Imam Hussein, peace and blessings be upon him, the all-inspiring re revolutionary leader who continues to this day to inspire millions upon millions. He said beautifully, death with dignity is better than a lifetime of humility. Dear brothers and sisters, I would like to introduce the Labour Member of Parliament for Bradford West, the Shadow Minister for Crime Prevention, Nasra. Can we welcome her with the loud salawat ala Muhammad and Ali Muhammad?